The Elements of Non-Euclidean Geometry by D. M. Y. Somerville Chapter 1. Historical Section 10. Gauss About this time, 1799, the genius of Gauss, 1777-1855, was being attracted to the question, and although he published nothing on the subject except a few reviews, it is clear from his correspondence and fragments of his notes that he was deeply interested in it. He was a keen critic of the attempts made by his contemporaries to establish the theory of parallels. And while at first he inclined to the orthodox belief, encouraged by Kant, that Euclidean geometry was an example of unnecessary truth, he gradually came to see that it was impossible to demonstrate it. He declares that he refrained from publishing anything because he feared the clamor of the Boeotians, or as we should say, the wise men of Gotham. Indeed, at this time the problem of parallel lines was greatly discredited, and anyone who occupied himself with it was liable to be considered a crank. Gauss was probably the first to obtain a clear idea of the possibility of a geometry other than that of Euclid, and we owe the very name non-Euclidean geometry to him. It is clear that about the year 1820 he was in possession of many theorems of non-Euclidean geometry, and although he meditated publishing his researches when he had sufficient leisure to work them out in detail with his characteristic elegance, he was finally forestalled by receiving in 1832 from a friend, Wolfgang Bolya, a copy of the now famous appendix by his son, Janus Bolyai. The Elements of Non-Euclidean Geometry This book was written by D. M. Y. Somerville, M.A. and Doctor of Science. It was published by the Open Court Publishing Company, London, G. Bell & Sons, Ltd. in 1919, and now is in the public domain. It is being read by Jim Renholt, with programming and illustrations by Jim Renholt in 2019. Thank you for listening.